Hey guys, Numa Stacker back here with you. And uh, in one of my last videos, I asked the question, why um, copper and silver coins that are just as rare don't seem to attract the same numismatic premium as the bright, shiny sovereigns do. And uh, a couple of people responded to that question in the comments on the video. And uh, what people made clear is that, you know, even though the rarity can be the same thing, uh, it's also about demand and people really like bright, shiny objects. So uh, maybe we're all magpies. We all like bright, shiny objects and we, we, we give a higher premium to those things, even if they have the same rarity that when we're showing off our purchase or looking at our purchases, um, gold retains its attraction. And uh, maybe that's just human nature. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a think about that and uh, get some comments going after this video as well. This video is an arrivals video and you can see that uh, a lot of the arrivals that I get are still those bright, shiny things, the uh, sovereigns and uh, Great to see some of these things and great to open with something like this, the 89 double sovereign. I mean, that's a great example, really, because the 89 has a massive premium on it in the market. And yet the mintages are actually really high. Um, so, you know, <laughs> that kind of speaks for itself. This one, I don't know what will happen with this one. Uh, a lot of people are buying them. I haven't bought any of those. I remain unconvinced on that one because the mintage was too high. Uh, this one, I mean, this is a very nice example, probably what, 60, 61, 62. It's got a little mark on it, um, but generally pretty minty. Uh, but I don't think it'll get maybe a 63 or a 64 uh, because of that little mark on the left by the, the left of the king. So another one, people seem to be continuing to buy the special sovereigns, and I don't think that's a bad strategy. Somebody made a video to, uh, to say that um, I, I've been recommending people to buy these um, sovereigns or things that uh, may be at a peak in value, whilst myself I'm buying older things. And uh, it's not entirely true because I've bought quite a lot of these kind of things myself uh, with my own money. Um, people seem to be sending me quite a few for grading, so you see a lot on the channel. Uh, and the reason I'm buying older stuff is because I like it and I want to have different things in my collection. And I will make a video um, which will be called Old Money, New Money, which will compare the philosophy of buying modern, uh, good condition stuff straight from the mint or in the secondary market a few years afterwards compared to buying more numismatic items, um, you know, at auctions in the way that I've been doing with some of my own purchases. But uh, people do seem to like these kind of things. I guess it's partly two things. They're easier to buy because there are more of them in the marketplace. They're less rare and you can buy them at a reasonable price and people are making a bet, I guess, about the future upside of these kind of coins. Whereas the older stuff is uh, can be more expensive, potentially. Um, you do have to pay auction premiums, which are higher. Um, but we'll, we'll debate that in a future video, and we'll see what you guys think of whether or not it's better to buy new and risk being at the top of the market, or old. And in some respects, you're still taking a risk being at the top of the market, because uh, they're both... Uh, governed by fashion to some extent and you also need to remember coins are really not an investment they are a passion a pursuit a hobby uh, something of interest uh, learning about history building building sets of things but it's not really about investment and if investment is there uh, by some off chance then that's a good thing but it shouldn't be the driving factor uh, and I've never really said that it, it should be, and it's not how I approach it when I buy things for myself either. A couple of other interesting things that appeared in this particular um, 
set of coins that was delivered, that uh, Pegasus coin from the British Virgin Islands, um, which is quite interesting. Pogjoy Mint, and with a an error on the frosting. Uh, and that one's going to go for conservation and grading. And then back to the really nice special edition Sovereigns. Um, are these things at a peak? Um, they've gone up maybe £150 or so in the last couple of years. You can still buy these coins uh, in the market pretty easily at around 400 to 500 depending on whether it's a kind of mint seal perfect one or one that's got a bit of handling on it. Um, if you buy them at that level, are they a reasonably good um, buy? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think that if they get graded and they get a 70 grade, they're probably saleable at maybe 700, 750, maybe a little bit more. 20-30% um, of them will get 70 grades, maybe a little higher than that. Um, so uh, if you do well on grading, you can make money. And if you don't want to grade them, pushing them away and bringing them out in five or ten years is likely to also uh, make a little bit of money in the same way as the 1989 ones have gone up in the last four or five years from about six or seven hundred pounds up to a thousand eleven hundred pounds. Um, the market is there for proof sovereigns with special years and uh, I can't see um, why people would not want to make that purchase at this particular level. Um, those are pretty cool coins. These are undated 20 pence pieces, quite a few of them. They're going in for grading. And here's the last one in, in what was a three coin set, an 89 three coin set. This one is the full sovereign and the full sovereign sells for about as much as the double sovereign. So uh, I've always thought that the best bet is the double sovereign in this particular range because you get twice as much gold and pay the same amount of money for it. But sovereigns are, are kind of pretty prone to fashion anyway. And uh, the last one in this box is an interesting coin. It's really a kind of medal as opposed to a coin. It's a bullion proof coin. Quarter ounce 2018 tiger. They make a tiger every year in South Korea. And it's a very attractive coin, very nicely made, and you don't see very many of them around. When you're buying modern coins, you need a trusted source and keen pricing. So I've teamed up with The Coin Connection to give you 2% off any purchase with a special code until the end of February 2019. At checkout, just use FEB19. Still a few days to catch that coin connection uh, promotion code and let's finish this video off with something you don't see very often and it's really nice to see it because there's not that many of these kind of coins that come in as a raw purchase. This is a, an American coin, a $1 gold coin from 1853. Um, this series started in 1849, I think, something like that, with a Type 1 uh, gold dollar coin. And these are pretty small coins. They actually got a little bit bigger over the years with the Type 2 and the Type 3. But the Type 1 ran until 1855, and it was replaced with one that didn't kind of quite work out and was very short-lived for a year or two, and then most of the years are in the Type 3, slightly larger ones. This one looks to be in pretty good condition and hopefully it'll grade pretty well. There's a lot of fakes of this coin out there, so watch out if you get offered one of these and the price is too low to make any sense because in good condition, if they're not fake, they should sell for good money. Um, a lot of these were used in jewellery, so watch out for coins that have been... Um, been used in jewellery, have kind of funny bits of solder on them, have little holes in them. There's, a, there's so many damaged $1 gold coins uh, because of the way they were used. Um, but uh, they're really, really interesting coins, um, and I've got a few of them in my collection, uh, and I really like them. I think they, uh, they make a very interesting and fairly affordable um, collection when it comes to American gold, and I far prefer these kind of small American gold coins to things like 
Morgan Dollars. Uh, I just, just my personal choice. I know a lot, a lot of people like Morgan Dollars as well. So I hope you like that. Uh, I'll be interested to see how this coin goes in grading and hopefully uh, it'll grade pretty well. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Please continue to like and subscribe and uh, hang around and wait for the next video which I'm sure will be along pretty soon.